is an honor and a pleasure to have you here at the Black Enterprise Black Men Excel Awards. How does it feel? Every time I, I get an award outside of, uh, you know, when they, when they give me an award outside of music, it, it, that interests me because um, it wasn't, it, it's not just about selling the records and, and making a lot of money. It's about um, it, it, trying to educate my people and take them to another level. How does it feel to know that you have made such a cultural impact? I really want to get to the younger people so they can understand that it's not just about them, that they represent their families, they represent their moms and their dads, their sisters and their brothers and their friends. You know what I'm saying? It's not, so when they're out in the street and they're wearing their pants all the way down under their butts and um, that you're not really representing, you're not representing properly. Do you have a favorite song that you like to sing? Backstabbers. <laughs> That's your favorite one? Well, tell us why that's your favorite. Just because I love the arrangement. I love I, I loved the way that song was made. What does it mean to, you know, still be honored for, you know, your music and even here at Black, uh, Black Enterprise? It makes me just think about all the people that helped me to be who I am. Like my, my, my father used to always tell me that your, your name is gonna go farther than you'll ever go. So true. You're, and then my, my, my stepmom who taught, who taught me how to wash dishes, how to cook, how to, how to sew my clothes, how to iron and all of that. My r real role model was my oldest brother. He had sickle cell and um, he, one, one side of his body was not perfect. So he, he, was, he walked with a limp, but there was not a day that he didn't get up and try to go to work and would go to work. And even in snow, he would walk to work, you know, and even though he was crippled, he would walk to work. And I would say, man, you need to just stay at home and forget him. No, I can't do that. I got to go to work. And so there was no excuse for me. I had no, I had no excuse, I had no reason to say I can't do it. If you wanna be great, hard work, and I, get, I take this from Floyd Mayweather, whether he knew what he was saying or not, hard work and dedication, you can't beat it.